sassy people. I hope everybody is doing great and you had a great weekend. You know, I started not to do this this morning because <laughs> I'm in one of those little pissy ranty like moods again. But I'm not going to I'm not going to go there. I am going to show you one little thing and then we're going to move on. But anyway, this mask for today is the pure clay mask um, that it was an Easter collaboration. I think it was, yeah, Lauren Perkins gave this to me. So I love it. It is a clay mask. So we're just going to slather that right on and get right into it. I'm hoping not to be here too long because I know you don't want to listen. <laughs> all right. So let's just ugh, get that all on there. It really feels good on your skin after you're done, but right now. Yucko. So, what did you guys do this weekend? Did you have a good one? I'm hoping it was a lot better than mine. You know, it's just like, um, there was some sadness this week, and then when Saturday rolled around and this thing that I'm telling you about in a minute happen. It's just like, you know, it just puts like a damper on your week and your weekend. So let's get with it. All right. So first of all, all week long in the news, and you all may have heard about it because I'm sure it's gone, you know, all over. There was a, um, a teenage girl that was murdered here. And it's just, it's so sad, so sad. It was um, actually on Mother's Day. So can you even imagine how that mom is feeling? And then, you know, I was thinking maybe she had been kidnapped or something by a man. And, you know, it ended up being a 14-year-old boy that killed her. I'm like, <sighs> so that's one sad thing. But here's the little rant thing. And I'm not going to harp on it because I know it bothers some of you all because I know that some of you believe that everything is always butterflies and rainbows but <laughs> so anyway Saturday I wasn't you know feeling so great and uh I was just kind of laying around dozing off in and out all day so you have you ever, you know, just woken up and then you just can kind of hear something. I could hear water running and immediately, you know, I'm thinking, oh my God, my pipes have burst and let me, you know, get it. So I came up front and I'm listening. So it's outside. I go outside and there's this happening to my yard. <laughs> yeah, this guy is out there digging up my yard. So I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> you're using my water and you're digging up my property and you never once have said anything to me. What company is this? He said it was Comcast. And I said, so what makes you think it's okay to come on my property? And he, well, ma'am, I'm just doing what I was told to do. I said, well, it's not okay and stop doing it. <laughs> so I said, um, I'll just give Comcast a call because this is not okay. He said, well, I didn't know anybody was at home. I said, nor did you ring the doorbell because I've been home all day. I said, so you didn't even ask me if it's okay to come on my property and start digging. So anyway, when I finish with you guys, um, I'm going to put on a little makeup, get dressed, because you already know I have the letter typed up, right? <laughs> So I'm getting ready to send a certified letter to Comcast because another thing, you can't talk to a person about it, you know, a live person if you don't have a, an account, which I do not. I, you know, got rid of Comcast years ago. And so my neighbor works for Comcast. So I went over and rang his doorbell to talk to him and I said, how can I speak to someone at a corporate level about, you know, a problem? And he said, Oh, well, really, you just have to call 1-800-COMCAST. I said, listen, I have, and I've been given to three different people, and still nobody can tell me why somebody's out here digging up my yard. He said, oh, let me come and see. <laughs> so he was telling me, even if, what it was that he was telling me that my neighbors, I had remember my new neighbors, um, 
need cable service, which I mean, it's that's fine. And I probably would not have even mind him running a cord had he asked me, but you're just going to go out there and dig up my yard and use my water and not say a word to me about it? No. So anyway, um, my neighbor said, well, first of all, he shouldn't have been over in your yard digging, period. He said the line would have had to run, be run up under the sidewalk. I said, oh, really? Okay. So he went, he said, let me go and call my supervisor. So he goes in, calls his supervisor, and then the supervisor gives me the same message to call the 1-800-COMCAST. I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fool with that foolishness. I went online. <laughs> and I don't, I never told you guys. I, I wanted to always be an attorney. And I always wanted to be um, like in an like the investigative part of things because I love researching stuff. But anyway, so I go through Better Business Bureau and then I Googled, you know, for head um, headquarters, you know, um, corporate headquarters of these companies. So I got the corporate address and I sat down and typed them a nice nasty little letter and uh, I'm going to send it certified today and then we'll see what they have to say about it because that's not cool. All right, now I'm done. One more little negative, and then we'll move on to positives, I promise. <laughs> um, I went into uh, AT&T because I was looking. My phone has not been charging. I'm hoping that it's charging enough for me to record this. Let's let this dry real quick. So anyway, you can't even get a phone. Like the, the upgraded one. I'm like... Guys, did you all have like a blast out sale or something? I went to four different AT&Ts looking for that phone and none of them have it. So anyway, I'm thinking about maybe ordering it because I use it for filming anyway. So the camera is supposed to be like super high tech. So you guys will let me know. I'll let you know if I get it, but I'm pretty sure I might. I'm thinking about telling them, can you just order it? Because <laughs> obviously they're all out of stock. I said, what did you all do? Have a big Mother's Day sale or something? They were like, well, we did sell a lot that weekend, but we're running this big special where they give you so much off on a trade-in. And uh, so people are taking advantage of it. I said, hmm, tell me more. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I might upgrade but anyway, um, when I went in there, I was so thankful that at least everybody, well, there were a couple of people that still, you are, you're you going to always have some that just won't do it. But uh, I was glad to see that everybody still had their mask on, But because um, I still plan on wearing mine because somebody that I know is now positive. So guys, we're not out of the woods yet, you know, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So... Um, I have a couple of shorts coming this week because I went into a uh, belk and you'll see that in a short day. <laughs> I went in to get some mascara, but they didn't have it. Can you believe that? I'm wondering if belk is going to close because they they're that Lancome line. It's almost barren over there. And, um, the guy was telling me that they're not going to be carrying it anymore. So I'm wondering if it's just that line that's going out of there or if they're planning on closing some stores. It wasn't looking so good. But anyway, I got a, a $20 Belk Reward check. And so, you, yes, you know I went in to spend it. And I truly was just going to get mascara. They didn't have any mascara. So I ended up getting a um, an eyebrow pencil in Auburn because, you know, with the red redness in my hair, um, I put a little bit in my eyebrows too now. So I got that. And then I found um, a couple of pieces. And one is like a leopard print. Now, you know who would love that, right? So that'll be coming out in a short take this week. And then I have another short. I'm trying to think. I have two. I don't know. I can't think right now. Oh. Oh, and tomorrow I have a little haul for you. I, um, you know, I told you last week I was planning on taking the, um, 
item back to Lane Bryant. And so right around the corner from them was <laughs> Ashley Stewart. Of course, you know I went in. So I got a couple of items that I'm going to show you in a haul. That'll be tomorrow. And uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, guys, you are not even going to believe this. This is why I'm telling you things were just like crappy this week. Okay, so you know I had to take the screen, the one to the patio, back because where they had sealed it in, they, it was pulling. They didn't seal it correctly. So I went out to pick that up, brought it back. It was great. So I put it in the garage, but I turned it not up and down like a door, but I turned it on its side. Okay, I'm getting out of the car the other day, and I just swung the door open, and I hit the screen. So it has like a little hole in it. I told my friend when he, when he came to put it in, I said, I don't care. Just put it up. I don't care. I'm not going to take it back and have it redone. So I just put some um, special tape over it. I, that one's out at the patio anyway. I seldom go out there because of my little lizard friends. So I'm not going to worry about it. But I thought, okay, now you went twice about that door, way out near the airport. It was already paid for. And then you still tear it after all that. I don't, I don't know. You know how they say when it rains, it pours. <laughs> it's been pouring. <laughs> In more ways than one, it was raining earlier this week too. So, that feels like it's pretty dry. <sighs> All right, so what else can we chat about? Oh, you know what? Now, I have some good news. I brought this in here, but... I don't want you all to think I'm braggadocious or anything. I'm just so proud of uh, Tasia. And I, I'm, you know what? Um, what? Somebody from the House of Delegates for West Virginia sent her a little letter of encouragement and uh, congratulations. And I'm thinking about contacting him and telling him thank you. So you guys let me know if that's just like too much. But I'm going to say thank you because, I mean, that really was so important to her and I thought it was sweet. So this is from the House of Delegates Office of the Minor Leader, uh, Doug Scaff, I think it is. So from the West Virginia House of Delegates. Let me read it to you. All right, so it says, Dear Tasia, congratulations on being named student of the quarter. I am very proud of you and the hard work you are showing for your studies and education. But this award, I believe, also speaks to your good character. I wish you all the best in the years ahead and much success in your future endeavors. Tasia, I am proud to join your family, friends, and community in congratulating you on this well-deserved recognition. Keep up the good work. Sincerely yours, Doug Scaife, 35th District. That is so sweet. Now, I don't know if they are if they always do that or if they're doing it because they know how kids are like really struggling this year, this school year, but I just thought that was so special and I am so proud of her. She's working hard. That's so sweet. So, anyway, I just had to <laughs> give her a little toot 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 her little horn. Oh, wow. Well, guys, I don't know what else we can talk about. <laughs> that was, you know, other than negative stuff, that's about it for this week. Um, th there's a, um, what is that? It's a ship. It's a, it's a cargo ship that kind of overturned a couple of years ago. I think it's been out in the ocean since... 2018 maybe the end of 28 but anyway it's caught fire a couple of times it's on fire and they're like have to keep putting it out i'm like what is going on i thought for sure by now they would have been able to go out and break it apart and take you know and salvage it out of the water but apparently not i, I really didn't know it was still out there but anyway it was on fire this week too I'll show you. <laughs> it's 
been crazy. Crazy. So, I'm trying to think. That's about all that's been going on. You know, school's winding down and um, the kids will be out soon. Ripping and running. Wow. So. I'm thinking that's going to be just about it. That's pretty dry. I think we're just going to go ahead and wash it off. I think the last time I did this off camera, because this gets really messy when, it, when you start taking it off. It feels wonderful, but it's messy. Give me a minute. All right, so that looks better, huh? And you know what? I always follow it up with my um, Visionaire Serum. And normally I just let my skin breathe for the day, but I wasn't thinking I am going to... I'll leave it on for a little bit, but I do have to put on a little bit of makeup because I'm going to the post office. <laughs> and since it's Monday, might as well run to Bell's Outlet for senior day. All right, guys, so you know what? See how smooth that that makes your skin? Feels so good. So, thanks for stopping by and uh, hanging out with me for this Mask Monday. I hope that you masked along with me. I know some of you say you do, and that is so wonderful. I love that. So, keep healthy out there, guys, and please still be safe and uh, cautious. All right, I will talk with you soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Stay sassy. I'll see you.